We have an exciting group of panelists with us today from ESEAP, spanning affiliates from Taiwan, New Zealand, South Korea, and Myanmar. Our friends from Myanmar are joining us virtually, so welcome all. Each speaker will present for 10 minutes, and we have 10 minutes of Q&A at the end. So first up, from Taiwan user group in Taiwan, we have Jai Wan, Jilin, and Ge Si, Jilin. They are indigenous people in Taiwan. They started editing on Taiwan Wikimedia since 2021. They have strong ambition to preserve their language and culture through wiki projects. Welcome, over to you. Java Java, ah, Mapulas. Jaman Kamashimaza e Taiwan by one wiki, Marva Ravasaman as Mabaza ah, ah, Kitachuru to Tuana, my tutua, Kaiki, na Kanakuka, Sa Imaza Nuri, a Kisijam Janumunda, a Kuru a Miringan, the Machikan Tonya, Kina, Lugulugan, Katania, Kakayan. Kai Sabidan a Ring a e da Kurok a Kilasan as a Paiwan wiki patagil, Penichika Pasata, Wanglu. I swap in Iwanan to two a banana as it's Kaukau no e Taiwan a Katarician. It up in the Akai Sanantau di Maju. Utauta Shinan Masanita de Noa Kuka a Kakayan. Yaman, by one to go lucky, poor or good out, sa, sipa, Uzula in a turbo, laqua, macatia, but swallowed and not as I go and I look at up in I want an mapo, Yuana. Ita, the poor or a china, Vitabilan, Ijoana, Shida Biru, a kisang, Ika, Jevalunta, Rusa, Kura, Anga, Totao. Saka to so anga bye bye kangania ramal madam. Jamapu luanga saigua kibu. Nagua aisuanya kina ligilgan by one wiki makati anya pa pira zakan. Pala zua a shipagauga zua jabiri bidi. Asang sang san uri de mochikara en twa nya chinari vatan a ichinin gang di grumun a patsun twa aitwa iga na kinamanamanam amentu iga amin na venechika a pasata wangu jala nangua a kia kapu sa paklang twa timai manga masi twa mar timai mali zuku a kinajan sa pachuma le twa kinajigan Noa anama kakuda kudain a papigatan kata palajua. Tutsu anya shinitsuan a pajangalan avanza kasonia u shini patuma de jang noon. Mapulu anan anya sarasarad au aza masako akibu to a pinaiwanan. A makasulu tubong itwa si bachikan ika ma rosaigu. Itwa pazangan saka say saka ay saigu twa saka isugashi twa sensengan tiamadu. Aban shika nika jika nga mata wang luwa banachik. Kamarakarang amen a papukarang twa makasulu tubong to kituru twa ay swa kai. Na salina mantu kichio rote amanju ula ai chapi na iwanan ya mirazo kato aban si tukao kao ituan wakuan a jiday. Amasan jero uri pasmarao tuan niaman a sinibarong tuso kamayan aman kamasi ta kibata a pasmarao tuan i wangru a Vachig kata la muin. Utauta, think yaman a kaigia bakata nia sung sungan itwa wang lu. Ijuanan uri spam. Juman kisaki samament a kurako. Ipubarung twa no isabili a kurako dara a. 
Kamuku. Nizwa Patsansang Anya Chitkao Apaisu Tiamen Uri Padagil A Kichapil Ki Ruku Dwa Nas Paiwan A Malibak. I saw Malibak Nwa Sipaiwan Chuku Shichatswayan A Parisian. Nawak Arabat Harikishi Kata Chipas Bari the Kata Kakudan a imi Aban Shika Churuhu a Sakinkyu Saka Aitsu a Parisian Itua Paiwan Kinadan Matapida Mana Samakad Nu Ishabil Puruk a Kinasan Jamalun Anga Malabak a Parisian Itonia Kinadan Jubar I Taitu Jubar Na Kamalavaman to Kichur, Sa Litaraja, a smashing, a removing, a kibadak, Sa Nia Tabatabali, a smanguak, a pasata, wang, a paklang, Nujabiri, Muda, Ya Mirazuk, a matukao, Tanya, with a chicken. The ma, the ma, the Valine, the Moro. Pamiri ta kisupu kata amurin a kamuku. Ula masanwa niya shikas a kakayan. Utautak masita pas labag kiakapu doa maratimali taritu noa katsarisyan. Yana makasa na bupitsu rasa kinalagalagan sa kam da turupu at sakao doa aitsua pinayawalan. Ijuanan Anya Shinibaru to Makapu a Kibusad Ajuanga Isangas au Shinikibu Ijuato Masanita Yanwa Nanta Oza Pinaiwanan Ulang Kamashi Tuanya Kina Vadakan Kata Smakat Takai a Shinaribatan Pakilang Tua Marati Malimani a Dantai Sa Matabul, but at the valley the toa canakai. Salinaman to Ija Malia are dying, the Moru Tian woman, Babenaman toa eking. Sakatauta, Aichua Pakata, Nanta Zuku Akai, Kata Kakudan, Apano Yatna Kinachin Layan Uta. Salingaman ari tara de mata maratimani a zuku. Puka i sazadaj a ma taturu. Kata maja tau chikur sa ayen tua binaiwanan a bachiku. Avanzoa jala nangwakana binarungan. Kasarui aizwa nan tau zuku. Pagata smukaj ata kai kata bunga. Kinazad a pala ralain ka timijam. Aban shika ijwa ta shikining a kilabak kata da jamabak. Tutswanga ijwanga riao a pakata wangu a shayaya. Makati aja shibachi a patsun to a maratimadi a zuku. Shini pazangar a mongdai kata chinaribatan. No makapu iten sa matabal a mataturu kata pazakad tua malatimali a kakudan a ubaru. No jabiri jala mariao a mapa usarad. Malabalabaman to mangkiza adao aza kataban. Samamaza au pasmao janumun. Sabari to Paiwan wiki. No Ijuan no Jigam, Pantizua Mataiwanga Kibang Bang, Yapuna Taribari Vaka, Pater Mamiring, Masaru Tanukina Kini Randan, Jabba Jabba and Mapila, Masalu Masalu. Thank you so much. Next we have Ki Ho Head from Myanmar. 
He is a co-founding member of Myanmar Wikimedia Community User Group. He started editing since 2011, and he is now serving as a bureaucrat on Burmese Wikipedia and as an administrator on Burmese Wiktionary, Ha'o Wikipedia, and also on Incubator Wiki. He provides technical support and guidance to test Wiki projects of Myanmar's minor ethnic languages, which are on Incubator. Over to you, he. Thank you. Uh, I wanted to talk about the current situation of Wikipedia projects in Myanmar. Uh, so uh, this is the history of uh, our group, Myanmar Wikimedia Community User Group. Uh, the group is uh, the group was recognized on 31st January in 2020, and we have uh, about 25 members currently. Sorry, one second. Uh, as a current advocate of our group, we are uh, uh, promoting uh, the Wikimedia, different Wikimedia projects on social media like uh, Facebook and uh, Twitter and, and Telegram, uh, on, and also provide technical support and guidance to the incubating test wiki projects from Myanmar, uh, which are currently incubated uh, to get a, 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 a domain. Uh, so here is a list of the, our current running uh, projects. We we have uh, two tiers of eight projects uh, from uh, four languages, uh, four Wikipedia, three visionaries, and one Wikifiers, uh, uh, which are currently running from Myanmar. Uh, we have a total of 38 uh, incubating text wiki project on incubators. Uh, for all minor ethnic languages in Myanmar. Uh, among them, uh, Shen Wikibos project has recently approved and is ready for the creation by the developer. Uh, hello, uh, hello, Mashung. Uh, can you uh, talk about this line? Um, hi, hello. This is Shun from um, Yama Wiki Group. Uh, I have out. Uh, Kuchi and um, other members. So um, usually I <clears throat> I come from language aspect. So um, I edit more on uh, small things in uh, articles. Um, well, I want to uh, share about our language background for this uh, Myanmar uh, community. We, we not only have uh, armies, uh, speakers, we have like a uh, Monshan Rakhine, um, uh, different language speakers of the region, uh, mainly Myanmar script users. So, uh, Bamis use the Myanmar script, and then uh, under the script family tree, we have uh, so many languages, and also there are other languages which use um, SK, I mean, uh, the Roman letters. So, um, like in history, our language background is like um, as I listed in the in the slide. So I wouldn't um, draw on this. So uh, we have uh, so much diversity and so much more to uh, improve on. So uh, currently, I have discovered that um, there are so many ethnic groups and even uh, Burmese groups that uh, migrate to other countries. And we, um, for me, I'm from Singapore. And um, so uh, in the Southeast Asia region, in Australia, New Zealand, um, in Europe, uh, even in USA, there are language user groups that uh, who, are, who have interest in uh, Myanmar Wiki, but uh, I would like to invite them to come forward uh, so that uh, we have more content and more uh, sharing in the future so that uh, our community will improve much more in the future, not only in the region and in the country, but for all the user groups across the world. Yep, uh, let's continue, Koji. Thank you. Uh, these are the, our challenges that are currently facing. Uh, the first one is uh, access to all Wikipedia related sites are blocked in major ISPs in Myanmar after the FIFI 2021 goal. So uh, most of the users have to use a VPN to get access to their uh, Wikimedia sites. And not only uh, if they use the VPN, they cannot uh, create a new account or 
or edit uh, on Wikimedia because of the uh, Meta's uh, open uh, open policy, uh, uh, open policy policy. So uh, after the coup, uh, we have uh, planned uh, workshop coordination and collaborative activities to do in, in 2021 and 22, but uh, all of the planned activities are canceled uh, due to coup and the current political situation. Uh, and then after the coup, uh, most of the edit Wikipedia, uh, Wikipedia uh, editors uh, are uh, 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 to do the circulation. Uh, if we uh, the, if we edit the, the Myanmar's political related article uh, with the synthetic information, uh, and we may have the risk of uh, arresting Biden because of the and military uh, government. Uh, we we are, our community is a very small and and uh, and uh, we may notice uh, the uh, the, uh, the people may notice who are the edit Wikipedia editor in Myanmar. So uh, we have a risk of arresting uh, if we uh, edit uh, uh, the information on the Wikipedias. And the the other uh, uh, challenge is that uh, every Burmese editor on Wikipedia are not a members of our user group, and our, most of the community uh, is uh, less interest in the contributing uh, rather than just reading and finding the fact on their Wikipedia. Uh, as for the, our way forward, uh, we, will, we will continue support and guidance for the current incubating text wiki of uh, Myanmar, and we, we, will, uh, we will frequently promote about the uh, different Wikimedia projects on social media, uh, uh, as in Facebook, Twitter, and Telegram. Uh, and we will uh, we have the plan to credit the uh, IP block exemption rights uh, to the edit Wikipedia of Myanmar if they are behind in, in a VPN. And uh, and uh, the last one, uh, we uh, we decided uh, not to organize in person event and uh, until the, the current situation are stable. Uh, this is uh, the end of the, our presentation. Uh, uh, thank you for the listen. Thank you, Dr. Uh, Next, we have Victoria. Victoria is from New Zealand. Victoria is the president of the Wikimedia Open Aura. Ah, should I start again? Probably. Okay. Um, Tanakoto, Tanakoto, Tanakoto Kato, Ko Victoria Lichman Taku Uma, uh, No Inarani O Ku Kipuna, Ke Te Nohu O. Hello, my name is Victoria Lechman. My ancestors come from England and I live in Wellington, New Zealand. Uh, I acknowledge the Godagol of the Eora Nation, the traditional custodians of this land, and pay my respects to the elders, both past and present. Uh, my introduction was in Tereo, the Māori language. I'm not a speaker of this language, but I will be using Tereo words within my talk and I'll translate them into English for you as I go. Um, in my 10 minutes, I'm intending to cover the local context of Aotearoa New Zealand, the setup of our user group, and what we're doing to identify the skill gaps and bridging those gaps for leadership on both a local basis and also at the ECAP level. Um, now, I just thought most of our editors are working mainly in the English Wikipedia uh, wiki projects. Um, we've been an affiliated user group since December 2019. The coordination and connection of editors into a recognised user group was a direct result of the New Zealand Wikipedian at Large project funded by Wikimedia Foundation in mid-2019. This project saw the editor giant fight this birds roving across New Zealand, running workshops and creating connections between both established editors and training new editors. Um, the outcomes of this project included the the establishment of a regularly for, regular fortnightly meeting in the capital of Wellington, facilitated by me and my twin sister Ambrosia Ten, a regular monthly meetup continuing and growing in Christchurch, and meetups and training happening on semi-regular basis uh, within the rest of New Zealand. 
Um, I just wanted to say our meetups are different from editathons. They're regular meetups for community building. We go around the table and everybody's got a chance to talk about what they're working on and what problems they need help with. It's also finding out what's happening in the community and also the planning events like editathons and wikicons. And the meetings last about two hours and at the moment are run monthly. Our first, existence, the first year of existence as a user group was 2020. So COVID and particularly New Zealand's long first lockdown was a huge factor in accelerating our progress as a group. Getting locked down was a positive experience for the user group. Um, Ambrosia 10 and I shifted the fortnightly Wellington meetup to a fortnightly online meeting and others from around the country joined us and even some Australians joined in. Thanks Annie and Margaret if you're in the room. Um, we loved having you. We've really started to talk to one another and learn who was doing what and what each of us was interested in and how we could support one another. Thanks to the lockdown, New Zealand remained COVID-free for the first half of 2021, and the user group set up a subcommittee to deliver three in-person Wikicon weekends using rapid grant funding each time. We managed to deliver two, one in the South Island and one in the North Island, and then the Delta variant hit New Zealand and we had to cancel the third one. We went back to fortnightly online meetings, so the momentum was maintained. It's only recently that in-person events have started up again, and we've shifted to monthly meetups online. The meetup connections that were formed saw the development of a self-selected group of those that wanted to help grow the community and who were collaborative in their approach and were willing to put the time into doing the not so glamorous or fun work of administration and organization. Each of the Wikicons had a session on next steps for the user group, and that's when the community agreed that move, moving towards legal incorporation of the user group was a good idea. A team of people who were interested got together and started to work. This year, we've received our first general support grant, we've incorporated, we've got a committee selected, and we're in the process of writing policies and funding activities. So we've got an incorporated society with seven committee members from across New Zealand with a wide range of experiences, including previous board experience um, and also deep wiki project experience. We have an admin on board and some editors with over 10 years experience. It's a good range of skill sets on our committee. The user group is still benefiting from monthly online meetings where we achieve, share the achievements from um, around the country and inform about organizational progress, events and wider wiki matters and also help editors. Um, the in-person meetups and editathons are happening again in, around the country and the delayed Wellington Wikicon is being planned for later this uh, early next year. So that's our setup right now. We feel we're really early, um, but we're moving fast. Um, so how do we identify skill gaps in leadership, bridge those skill gaps, and plan for the support that's needed? Our focus has been on the committee. Uh, I feel that if we get the committee working right, then we can ripple out to get leaders in the wider New Zealand community supported better and also identify strategies to fill the gaps. When we drafted our first general support grant application in April of this year, um, we'd all just been elected. We knew each other, but we also didn't know each other very well. We would had to spend time thinking about how we were going to work together and what our strategy was going to be. We needed to spend time agreeing the priorities. And in order to lead well, we needed to learn the sensitivities of each other so we could build trust. In order to help with that, we organized an in-person strategy weekend with an excellent facilitator who had no experience with Wikimedia, but heaps of experience in building effective governance groups. Agreeing behavioral norms on how we will work as a committee, where we will work, the digital tools we were going to use, how fast we were going to work, the cadence and response time we agreed, um, and sharing our individual motivations and experiences, built trust and empathy and teamship with each other. Choosing a great professional facilitator and coach was a huge win for us. She organized an agenda and ran the, ran the weekend that was flexible to our needs and took advantage of ways in which the group developed and came together to encourage openness and sharing. 
The committee have acknowledged the value of that weekend and decided that we're going to run it annually so that, that, so that we'll ensure that any new people elected to the committee get a chance to say what their motivations are and for the group to re-establish re acceptable behavioural norms and ways of working that include their views. We've also put an importance on the baseline of understanding in the committee of the Treaty of Waitangi, uh, New Zealand's founding document. We recognise that we are citizens of a nation with tangata whenua, people of the land, and tangata tiriti, people in New Zealand by right of the treaty. We need to ensure that our kaupapa, our principles and ideas that act as a base for action, a way of working, that our kaupapa acknowledges, supports, and provides space to enact and practically recognise to ao Māori, the Māori worldview. We've got a lot of work to do to ensure that our members have the ability have the ability to act from a position of cultural competence within New Zealand. The first step is for the committee to have common understanding of the treaty. We acknowledge the lack of diversity in our editors within New Zealand. We don't have enough Māori editors or editors of Pacific Island origin. Our group doesn't reflect the demographics of New Zealand. We also have limited numbers of te reo Māori language speakers as editors. The first step towards attracting new editors in this space and that will hopefully become leaders is to ensure the space in our procedures as an affiliate and the current and the current leaders of our Te Aroa New Zealand community are as supportive as possible to Te Ao Māori, the Māori worldview, and to Tangata Whenua, the people of the land. And that's where we are right now. I'm also looking at leadership in two ways, leadership within the New Zealand user group and leadership within the ECAP context. What I'm realizing about the New Zealand context is that we're approaching the whole, um, the whole uh, our principle as a spirit of openness. We're a new organization and this is our first attempt at setting up practices. We're going to try our best and be open to improvements or completely scrapping some practices and starting again if we need to. We're looking at that agile methodology, not trying to be perfect, just trying to get it better each time we tackle something. We're also wanting to remain diversified. We've done our best in the past as a user group over the last few years where we're supporting each other's strengths and when we talk to each other. One of the reasons our user group reports like, look so impactful is, is that we're not editing it through one person. Anyone in the group can contribute and edit and add their successes. Lack of central control we see as a strength, not a weakness. As a committee, we don't want to add barriers to, the, to our members of the user group when they want to lead. We want to support them. We've got common issues. The affiliate doesn't connect with every New Zealand editor. We'd like to and we're trying to, but we don't. We're thinking about what we can do to encourage editors to become members of our affiliate. We know that editors can be become organizers and organizers become leaders. Affiliate committee and members are impatient and we want to achieve far more than we have the leadership team depth to achieve. We've got capacity issues. I know this is a common issue for most affiliates, and, but we're at that stage of realizing this and figuring out strategies to avoid burnout. This includes the priorities and prioritizing pieces of work, or at least pushing out the time frame for delivery. The seven members of the committee are either admins or key organizers for New Zealand, and devoting time to the committee feels like it's reducing organizing capacity for events, communications, and content projects. It's put pressure on other organizers to do the organizing work, and that takes them away from their own um, content projects. We're actively supporting those that are demonstrating leadership outside of the committee, be it in a content development project space, training newbies, or in a comms promoting space. We're also actively encouraging people to start organizing. This includes approaching people we think might be great new organizers, supporting them to walk, along, walk alongside experienced organizers, and then asking them to take on organizing projects on their own with support. This is similar to actively encouraging new editors, developing ideas on shadowing and building organizational depth. We're also looking at what training opportunities we might be able to offer and pay for if we're successful with funding next year. This isn't organized in any systematic way yet. It's just how we're approaching it and thinking about it. A success this year if we get two new organizers leading projects, that's the size we're talking about at the moment. If we can convince two people to lead something, I'll be a happy woman. Um, 
I'm also recognizing that leadership comes in a number of different forms. If people are leading something they love to do, I'm learning not to change them. <laughs> Administration and events organizing is a chore for most. Um, people prefer to lead content projects or talk about content projects. And a not so random example, if they're evangelizing the benefits of working with Wikidata to communities of natural environment specimens, scientists, then I don't try and get them to take on organizing a Wikicon. <laughs> Ask them if they, if they need some, any support, what they're actually doing and help them. A priority is to improve communicating with the wider group only by talking with everyone and letting them know both the successes and challenges. Does the community continue to self-select and solve issues? I acknowledge that our committee still has got a lot of work to do on our comms plan and we need to improve on that, but it's in the plan of work. We acknowledge we have skill, get, all skill, gaps, um, skill gaps within the committee for measuring and metrics as well. Looking at, we're looking at what's actually useful in this space. How can the committee demonstrate and improve making positive impact on the user group members? How can the user group make a positive impact on New Zealand content and the New Zealand community? How do we measure that without being an expert in metrics and interpreting of the metric results? So what are we planning? We're thinking about funding to hire a staff member to add organizing capacity and a focus on relationship building and communication. We're setting up an end of year review for the committee of our first bu budget to better understand where our actual spend occurred and whether there were financial pinches and non-spend and where our budget spend actually matched our strategy. Did we overestimate what we could achieve in a year? Um, and we're also looking at what support we can offer editors looking to become organizers beyond purely funding. We're thinking of developing an organizer pack of helpful things such as for in-person editathons, training sessions and wiki cons, checklists, digital tool recommendations, con scripts and physical packs of masks, O2 meters and, and COVID rapid antigen testing, making it easy so they don't have to do the research themselves or think of everything. What support can we offer editors wanting to lead content projects, funding sources outside of Wikimedia Foundation, tips and tricks for managing conflicts of interest, comms and how to drum up interest with like-minded members of the community to get an editor group brought together. We're, we're essentially all about the practical at the moment. Um, in terms of leadership of our affiliate in the ECAP space, I feel like such a newbie. Um, I'm learning about how it's organized and talk to each other in a hub. There are members of the community that have far more knowledge in this area and are helping me. Um, the Aotearoa New Zealand Community uh, Committee and user group is invested in ECAP, and we know we've got a lot to learn from other affiliates. I think organizing leads to um, interest in organizing leads to interest in doing more for the group, which leads to an interest in the wider affiliate ecosystem but we don't know what we don't know. Jacqueline and also the online ECAP meetings have been an extremely so useful source of information, support and guidance. But there are times when I feel so ignorant about the wider ecosystem how, and how it works that I don't know what questions to ask. The Aotearoa New Zealand group is beginning to start working with other affiliates. We're starting with our close neighbors, Wikimedia Australia. I hope this um, practice will lead to New Zealand leaders becoming more confident and leading more cross affiliate projects, but I think this will take time and, and capacity. I suspect that this will start, um, we'll start with administration and content projects, but ideally I, 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 I hope that we'll go on to other types of leadership, offering opportunities for editors and org organizers across the nations and possibly leadership programs. Thank you. Thank you so much, Victoria. Um, next up, we have our friends from South Korea. We have Yongjin Ko. Uh, Yongjin is the board member at Wikimedia Korea and has been editing Korean Wikipedia since 2011 and has been an administrator since 2014. He provides support to the affiliates planning and coordinates local events such as the new Wiki conference in Seoul. Um, he also formerly worked uh, at the Media Foundation uh, as part of the movement strategy and government. Also, also from Korea, we have Eun A. Wood. Eun A. 
Ooh. is the director of Wikimedia Korea. She started editing in 2007 by fixing some typos on Korean Wikimedia. Just after that, she joined the Korean Wikimedia community and helped to establish Wikimedia Korea. Now she is the board member and executive officer um, of Wikimedia Korea. Over to you. No, it's not possible. So hold on. Um, I can do it. Okay. 안녕하세요. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so basically, my name is Youngjin, and I'm the board member in Wikimedia Korea, and I used to work with the Wikimedia Foundation for Boomer Strategy and Governance. And here is my peer, Yune Gu, Secretary General in the Wikimedia Korea, also assist here to assist myself. So the Wikimedia Korea has been established in 2014. Uh, after that, like the, we having like the doing the initiatives, so that the we become the we are authorized as chapter by affiliation committee in the 2018, uh, no 2019, sorry. That's very recent. So we are the very, very, very new affiliate and a small size. So that we are starting with the local activity. So let's go with through the what we are doing right now. So that current initiatives and then how we gonna do for the future. So I want to introduce you a few things we uniquely do. So firstly, we are doing local annual conference. Since the Korean users are all almost staying in the South Korea, we are able to do the local conference at the South Korea for the gathering the Korean users. We are almost getting like the 50 or our 50 users in the conference. So we are doing like the this is the official photo of the conference, and the, we're even doing the cake celebrations <laughs> for the 20th anniversary of the Korean Wikipedia. So that's probably there. So that's the first first initiative we are doing, and something special is starting from here. We are trying to make a partnership with the many, like the unrepresented, underrepresented organizations, or the where the Arctic Wikipedia, well, where the Wikimedia articles are like the weak. So that the for, for example, the first one is HIV and AIDS. That part was very weak. So we are trying to get some made like the students, undergraduate or the grad students from the university, and then we are giving volunteer time. Why volunteer time? Because South Korea in the South Korea volunteer time is very important in the their graduation and the career. So if you see here, there are the lots of articles in English, but which were not translated in Korean or the not created in Korean. They are all the projects with the help of the professionals, including the undergrads and the grads they are doing so that we able to create all the articles related to HIV and AIDS. We also doing the sister project support. So for example, we are doing the, the digitalization of the Yetangul that which is that's like the image of the Yetangul. So that's like the, somehow the very old Korean language. You know that Korean is developed like the in the 20, I uh, know in the very, very back ago with the King Sejong, right? So that at that time it's like kind of a little bit different than the what the Korean language is currently as today. So we are, our goal was like the making it digitalization and it has been succeed in the wiki's most succeed project in the sister projects in Korean. Let me just go back. I don't know why. So yeah, so the most, so the most importantly, we are also having to serve support the teenager groups because the teen, teenager groups was like the lots of big serious problem in South Korea because there was like the in the 2019 of the December, there was like the rapid influence of the teenager users at their time. So the big problem is they are like that they are not familiar to Wikipedia community and the Wikipedia community how to editing them. So we had to do some strategy to how can we making as long term community members because if they are growing and uh, having more knowledge and they're being being adults they they could be possibly the new contributors in the Wikipedia and the other Wikimedia projects. So what we you, you try to do is like the pro, 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 provide the teenager exclusive uh, guy helping pro, project. This is called the student camp. So like the, the I just like the tips. And they're the students board 
and uh, etc. That was like the really had helped to achieve the students teenager user succeed success and the as well as the how of the centralization of the is problem there. Oh, no, just running out of that <laughs> Oh, the problem. So okay. Oh, low battery. That's fine. And now the problem was the race. We we can we we made a space for the teenager groups, but like the we don't know how what they want. So what we're doing is we are making the meetings with the teenager users itself. So there was like the five or five almost five users volunteered to like the coming and gather gathering with us for Wikimedia Career Board. There was like the somehow the success was made. So for example, they want to do like the somehow opportunity to volunteer hours so that we have created the teenager exclusive like the photo contest, photo contest tour, which is so that they are taking up photos and the improvement articles and upload the photos in Wikimedia Commons. So here is the photo that they're actually taking photos of the Ulchiro Yeah, Ulchiro. Mm. <laughs> which is like the near the soul yeah i yeah, know at the center of the soul okay so what's the next about the wikimedia korea the, the the future of the wikimedia korea we are starting the initiatives however we have to support the more more and the our affiliate needs to be growing in order to grow the wiki korea wikipedia community, especially in the South Korea. So that we we decide to plan the strategy that like uh, aligns with the Wikimedia 2030 vision and the movement strategy in the future. So it is gonna be labeled in the, by the February 2023, which is the general meetings of the members. So that's all from me and probably Goop can speak about like the additional like stuff and the future plans of our affiliate. So, yeah, you did covered well, and <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, so uh, this this year, so this year it was was very meaningful for us because we set up uh, our strategic plan for the first time, and so and we can. Uh, we can submit, we could submit more organizing proposals to the draft. And so, and we will con continue to um, hold a gathering for a strategic plan next year. And, so, and we will, so, uh, uh, working uh, volunteer hour is very successful. And so, we will keep the strategy uh, next year and so you can uh adapt uh i know some other countries your, your uh project yeah so and okay that's it so all right thank you so much i think we have plenty for questions okay maybe we can take questions from the room first if there are any questions Um, so I just want to ask a question regarding uh, what will be the best strategy in, in, uh, in Korea. I mean, uh, the problem for the problem from with the engaging with the youth is uh, how it is interesting on, on their side. So there are other uh, countries that they make their projects a little deeper. So uh, what what is the strategy for for Korea that would entice more uh, more youth? Uh, are, are there uh, are the demographic demographic of uh, Korea are leading into uh, some sort of as a theme like uh, their favorite movie or their favorite film or song or something? Okay, so I can echo that a little bit because we because we are aware that like the um, like the teenager user groups are interesting on the best stage, like the mobile games or the PC games or movies that the and the drama and the animation. So what we can do is like the probably creating the art, like the encouraging them to like to do like the 
like the summaries of the the those those videos or the what what I'm saying <laughs> or drama and etc. So I think it's like kind of important that encouraging them to edit that, but like the probably we have to also have to educate just to not like the copy and paste from the other like third party media but because. The, in South Korea, there is like a lack of awareness of the copy, copyright compared to the other countries. They just like to simply copy and paste from the other projects, and the, that has been making the violation of the copyright. So that 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 contributors are ex, but sadly removed. So that's kind of important. The second thing is like the probably we have to, as I said before, we have to do the strategies that the teen, teenager wants, those people wants. Like, the, for example, the teenager photo, what, photo walk filter, that was like a huge success because they, they want it and we planned for the one time and that, that was like huge success. So pro probably the planning the teenagers want, what teenagers want could be helpful. Also, so lastly, I think there should be some help to how to edit the Wikipedia and the what they should aware in the minimum, not like too much because if they are under having too much, they will be understand they, they will be not understand everything. So probably there should be short summary of the what should they not to do in the very important things only. Thank you so much. Do we have any questions for any questions from the room or online? Andy? Thank you. Yeah, I'm very interested to know that uh, uh, some of the chapters in DCF are planning their first strategy plans. And I'm interested to know um, what kind of resources that you guys depend when when formulating these strategy plans. And we talk about we talk a lot in DCF about uh, cross affiliates skills sharing and development and leadership exchanges and things like that. Um, I'm wondering if you have a specific uh, topic that you wish to learn from your fellow DCF affiliates, fellow chapters, and groups across the movement that probably you could bring up in the uh, hub discussion probably uh, for the strategy planning of a formalized group. Okay, that's my question. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a really interesting question, and something that I think we're here to learn. Um, we, the user group is, is as you, you might say, where we look at our strategy from a national level. Um, our next step is, and I think that's next year's strategy review. Is what are we going to do with our experience this and the other things across the region and possibly through the other as well? Um, what are we going to do in terms of how, how are we going to present to others and uh, expand our strategy or generate those types of questions or even generate those types of questions? Um, I feel like we're walking the ball running and it's a running question. Um, we're dipping, as I said, we're dipping our toe into, into cross Korea, just thinking with, with, a, with a media Australia. But even that's on a very embryonic level. It's very, it, it started at 10, it's not, we're talking about um, one with one ref coordination and uh, a working fellowship program. And that's about it. We're sharing community what we get. We talk on an individual to individual editor level. But we're not prepared to fully at this stage yet. Um, I'd love to be here. I just think it's going to take us some time. So, yeah, before we set up um, our strategy plan, so I asked the Japanese to send another affiliated upgrade uh, <laughs> strategy. And so, and we studied this. Them. Uh, for, for example, of the Wikimedia Australia, Wikimedia, uh, in the Netherlands, you know, that's the plan. So, in the, we added our Korean specific uh, strategies, for example, 
we really don't really need to develop our develop career specific uh, content, and so we include the it, we include it in our specific plan, our, our our strategy plan, and so yes, that's it. Do you, do you um does anyone else have a question? Okay, maybe I have a question for Kaiwan. So, uh, how do you work with other indigenous groups in in, in Taiwan? Um, you are the leader among all the indigenous um, groups. Um, having established a user group, so how are you sharing your learnings and how are you working? So, uh,我會補充一個環節上面的一個發表會。然后再加上原住民的智慧文化等等的东西，在台湾，在过去都没有被保存下来，是很可惜的事。嗯。Well, uh, there was a uh, a uh, uh, online is online sharing online sharing and uh, collaborate with uh, our local university, Chengdu University, and there was five different a uh, uh, group of indigenous uh, all gathered together and share the same. Question and in that uh, during that meeting, everyone is so uh, supportive and and understand that is a really really big challenge. They are all facing uh, many many few people know how to uh, speak their own language and a lot of elderly are are passed away for those who have those um, knowledges. So first their strategy now is more focused on collaborate with local university that already have a, a program in teaching indigenous languages. So they will go uh, collaborate with the professor and teach you how to edit Wikipedia with them. So that uh, has been, for them, has been a very successful way to preserve their language and share uh, their strategy to other languages as well. That's all. This is it. Thank you so much. And we have come to the end of our panel.